This is Sarah, and this past weekend my feet brains arrived in the mail from OSH Park. So this revision of the feet brain is quite a bit more complex than the previous iteration. Uh, last year I was only developing one type of foot module that had three specific features. There was the gripping, licking, and juicing. And since all of those were primarily mechanical features, all I had to do was have that board drive three separate motors. Simple enough, right? This year, as part of my artist residency at ESA, I'm developing four different appendages that will allow Noodle to interface with his environment in a variety of ways. And yes, again, the theme of these appendages is, of course, tasting. Last year, the brain board was a tiny little bean to drive those three motors. This year, it, it had to grow into a full-fledged croissant. So it's a little bit bigger. Um, it fits in snugly uh, right between the two mounting points for Noodle's leg bone. The croissant supports a list of features required by each of the four tasters. For the juicing drooling affection appendage, the board takes care of one DC motor, one microphone, one amplifier, and one speaker. For the swallowing collecting klepto module, there is support for one DC motor, one Pi Zero, and one camera module for the Raspberry Pi. For the analog tasting litness appendage, there is support for one DC motor, there is a color sensor and support for one solenoid. Lastly, for the bean planting or giving module, there's just support for one servo motor, which it needs to drive the whole bean hopper toe gripping mechanism. So my goal with this board was that it be able to potentially drive any one of the four different feet. So if you plug it into any one of them, it, it could just as easily drive whatever it requires. But the person who designed the board is sitting like right across from me, so I'm gonna have him explain to you exactly how he designed it to function and talk a little bit more about what it's capable of. This is Mark, and he is the master PCB creator, designer, router, layer outer of boards. Ah, that's the cutest noise. Why, why is it making the noise? Uh, we have a Pezo speaker not really a speaker, but a peso beeper. It's a little beeper right here. gland. So that, in my test program, it just plays a bunch of notes. Uh, the main LED is this white thing here, and this is like a standard 50-50 LED that you see in LED strips. So R, G, and B. And uh, with that, we can write code to like tell you a status or a state based on the color. All of the other blue LEDs are for indication whether one of the subsystems on the board are doing the thing that we think they are. So they're just hooked to the logic lines uh, that come out of the Arduino chip. So like here, the motor, it tells me that it's actually getting a signal. Um, this one's blinking now, which is the solenoid. So if there was a solenoid plugged in, it would be clicking. This is the serial port, which is uh, transmitting some data. Um, that's testing the uh, 5050 LED, they just did RGB. This one's just blinking and that's part of another test. Um, and then the motor, it goes back to the motor, and you can see that the, well, this light fades in and out to make the motor go faster and slower. So, so the, the little lights are like breathing. They're status yeah. lights. So this is effectively robot neurons firing. So, so it was, some part of it was this aesthetic, but it actually is good for debugging. Nice. These are going to yeah. look really cool, like on the inside of Noodle's foot, making it light up and kind of glow ambiently. I guess, yes. from the inside. Yes. So I'm really excited about, about yes. that. Yep. Noodle, are you excited to get your new feet? He says yes. Beep. He's BB. Noodle, you have feet brains installed in most of your feet. So I think three of the four new foot modules have their new croissant brains installed in them at this point. And the litmus foot is actually over by Mark, and he is testing with it right now. Um, all the peripherals are actually plugged into this guy. Yay. You can hear the motor whizzing. I can't really see it moving, but. The solenoid pokes and that flashing on the side is the color sensor, the light on the color sensor. Are those the color values? Yeah, this is the color value. There's nothing, there is no tape in there right now, so it's just reading whatever ambient color. Mark, it's alive. So 
All the peripherals that are hooked up to this foot are uh, working as of now, so the brain is driving them, it's doing what it's supposed to. But um, I have to get back to work because there are three other feet that also need to be tested. I need to put the peripherals in those as well and test the brains out, or Mark's going to test the brains out and uh, get the code working. So, as always, thank you for watching and keep making awesome stuff out there. Don't lick the electronics, Sarah.